am Jill Chodak. I'm a dietitian at the URMC Center for Community Health and Prevention, and with me today is Norma Holland from 13 Wham, and Dr. Elizabeth Murray, a pediatrician with URMC. Got us on the right. Yes. Okay. All right. And so we're going to talk about school lunches because it's Kids Eat Right Month. That's right. And you know it's back to school too. Yes. And so we're all talking about it, thinking about it. And so I wanted to give kind of my take on how to approach it in kind of a way that doesn't make you go crazy. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, and so there's a ton of recipes out there which I love, which totally scour that. But I find that those overwhelm me a little bit. And so I wanted to offer a couple of tricks to kind of if that's not your style, that you'd have a backup. Plan. That's great. I okay. love it. Yeah. Because you guys are moms too. So yeah. You, yeah, and by end of summer, so I'm making lunches for camp, and I just feel like you're out of ideas. Yeah. Right? Because they want something different and new. It's summer. Let's do something different, maybe. <laughs> Loosen up on the nutritional rules a little. Yeah. Yeah. You're outside playing so much, but still, I'm just over it. Yeah. And I've got a daughter who's going to be uh, taking lunch to school for the first time. She's a oh. somewhat picky toddler, and I need ideas. So this okay. is perfect. Perfect. Okay, so the first things first is start with the vessel. So these... <laughs> Love I do these. not work for them, however. <laughs> but you like them. I love them. So Isaac, um, our son, who is seven, um, kind of was anti-Planet Box initially because it's not what you would typically see right. in the lunchroom. Mm -hmm. But I love them because they're metal, so there's no plastic, none of that stuff going on. They're easy to like wash, throw them in the dishwasher. And then they remind me of what kind of like the foundational values of what I try to do when I'm thinking about lunch, you know, after dinner and I'm like over it, which is getting the five food groups. That's the easiest way to kind of foundationally build mm -hmm. a lunch and it can be flexible to picky eaters or whomever um, and so these kind of remind me of that okay. like they have areas these are for big, bigger eaters or like I packed him a taco today so the taco fits in here this is more for kind of compartmentalized and then this is like a little snack but they're called planet box there's actually this awesome dietitian um, who does super healthy kids have mm -hmm. you she actually analyzes 15 different lunch vessels really so if you're interested in that go there and okay. I've seen something very similar that have different Covers and mm -hmm. different colors, Correct. so you can jazz them up a little yep. bit if your child feels they need. Well, that. we have the magnets on our fridge. Uh, I know I don't, we probably can't get them. That's there. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That too. All right. Yeah. Yep. See, those are the magnets you can get. You can get them customized. Oh, so they kind of like so you can, can customize the outside. How, do the, how does the food stay in here without leaking? I always wonder, like, do they leak or? They're good. Okay. They're good. That's they awesome. don't leak. Uh, I have an. I have the apples that I got. I got complaints about because I squeezed a little citrus, but I think uh -huh. that was my fault. <laughs> you got so, complaints. So, yes. That was the only complaint I ever got. Management was like, you should not do that again. <laughs> but pasta has successfully stayed in there. Uh, okay. Yeah. And like smelly things. Yeah, like yeah. olives. We have olives here. They'll stay and they'll Good. be just fine. And if for whatever reason you're afraid of leaking, they do come with um, this yeah. type of thing that fits and you can, it locks up Perfect. and it goes, sorry, That's right great. in yeah. here. So it's kind of nice to have. The other vessel that I'll quickly show that I love that I get comments at, at work mm -hmm. all the time is this. Mm -hmm. These are plastic, which yep. is fine, BPA free, but these are the system, all right? Yeah, I don't worry about plastic as long as you're not reheating. Yeah, it's kind of, so I think for school, yeah, I carry, plastic is yeah. fine. I carry food not reheating. in plastic yeah. and then I reheat yeah. in something else. Okay, perfect, good. So this is awesome. This is my like, you know, we're a taco family, obviously. Yeah. So the, <laughs> I'm of course. Tag. Wait. So anyway, this I like because for picky eaters, you can compartmentalize, yeah. okay. but also for tacos, like you Perfect. get a, so <laughs> I'm going to be real here. So like I put the, like, you know, the tortilla and the cheese down there and then all the little pieces go up here and then your little sauce goes in here and it's like the wow, perfect taco perfect. vessel. But like, honestly, for lunches too, it's great because there is no reheating yeah. and you can throw it in. And yeah, for those who can't have the food touch. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in that phase? Yeah. yeah. That's a fun phase. Not here. <laughs> not yet, but I'm, I know we're headed that way. So. <laughs> I'm sure right. it touched. I'm sure it touched. No. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. And then this is just a sandwich one too that I thought, but they have all the different shapes and sizes. These are at Wegmans. So if this is like what you're wanting, but these you have to special order. And these are actually, I will mention, these are like 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. So they're like, but I've yeah, had them. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so then the next thing I thought we talked about before we actually make lunches is kind of like the approach that I take, and then you guys throw in sure. your thoughts and stuff. So, with the five food groups, obviously, I, I kind of like sectioned them off here. Mm -hmm. I try to hit a grain. Normally, there would be bread, but um, Adam ate it. Oh. So, we have... A lonely bun. Uh-huh. 
And then we have the protein, and I'm sensitive to our meat eaters and our not meat eaters and all right. that. And also, if they're not reheating, sometimes meat tastes gross. Um, and so we've got beans here, we've got jerky sticks, we've got um, hummus, and then also the nuts, The nut right? butters, yeah. yeah. The nut butters are great, but not, well, the non-nut butters right. also are great, yeah. <laughs> so depending on your school, obviously that's a, a factor, is if it's a nut-free facility, that's a great what point. are you going to do? I never thought so, of that. So this is some butter made from sunflower seeds. Have you guys ever yes, tasted this? that is great. And they have a new one that actually is a chocolate flavored that does Ooh. not have added sugar. So it, the values are not too bad because so this, it's mm -hmm. chocolate, it's got a lot of protein, and it's got the okay fats because it's a uh, soy based. And so it's this delicious. would be safe in a nut yes. free, like if yeah. there's a kid with an yes. nut allergy, you could so give them that. So they serve this at my daughter's school. Oh, and it's that's okay. Hugely popular. See, yeah. I'm learning something new. I've never even thought really of that. Do you want to taste this, girl? You got to start up with a natural peanut butter. Okay. That's not. It's good. Oh, all right. I'm not sick. I've actually never tasted it. This chocolate version, I'll tell you, I put it on a waffle in the morning and yeah. It's got chocolate in it. It's got like a little cocoa powder. Oh my goodness, so it my daughter will love it. So it almost tastes like hot chocolate, but it's, it's, my my kids don't like it. I like it. Yeah. It's not super sweet because okay, it's not added it. sugger. It's fine. I'm going to taste it too, girl. <laughs> I haven't tasted this. Okay. So it's good. you got to stir it for a while, so don't let your child see this. Okay. Don't, don't eat the whole thing. You can throw that right in the sink if you don't. It's, you, I, I just don't let it. your kids see separated peanut butter. You will lose that. Yeah, butter. right? They do not want to understand that. Definitely concept. taste like sunflower seeds. I'm, I'm just mm -hmm. going to say it's okay, Murphy will get it. Okay. I don't know. So, that, it it was a win though. in my house. There's yeah, a strong. It's got a. I like it. Yeah. I like sunflower seeds. Yeah. Yeah. So. With okay. the honey and this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. Then we have fruit. So for me, especially with the vessels, I'm like thinking, okay, small things small that fruit. fit in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. People often forget raisins. Raisins are great. I mean, yes, they're like dried fruit, so they are more fortified with like the sugars of mm -hmm. the fruit. We don't care about that. Mm -hmm. Fiber, yeah. it's high iron, awesome. Perfect. And one of Isaac's favorite things is the ants on a log, which is the next mm, thing. And great. Another vessel. Okay. No, I need a napkin yeah. because I got some butter all over myself. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Then we have the vegetable section. So typically I'm packing leftovers, mm -hmm. but if you don't and you want, these are great. You can chop these up or put them whole. These are ready cut celery yes. sticks, which you can make ants on a log. Um, my kid loves olives. So, you know, just thinking okay. outside the box, little mm -hmm. things. We do um, baby carrots and also like cut up cucumbers. Right. Whatever they like, keeping you know? everything sort of on a small size. So I can say right. these are small peppers, yep. all good for little hands. I find it dippable. Yeah. Yes. If you didn't add it, you gotta be careful. You can add a lot of unnecessary calories with whatever that dip is. Right. But it's kind of you know it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, right? Yep. It's not yep. what your child eats for this one meal. It's what your child I, eats over the course of the week that you have to think about. I agree. So you can get some like the, so the hummus is great. So you can take those all those different things. They can dip in the hummus, and so I have a lot of the little teeny containers. So yeah, where's your container? Yeah. You know, my child can go. I have a, a ton of these. Yeah. yeah. And so we can just various sauces, dips. <laughs> Whatever. Ever. So dip it well. Sometimes that's what gets you over that, you know, that yeah. I'm not eating vegetables phase. Yeah. Is, but you can dip yes. it in, yes. and then my daughter, oh, she loves, uh, it's so funny, um, she loves uh, ranch dressing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, we don't use a lot of that. No, she also but... calls it branch dressing, which is so <laughs> cute. I, everything was the B in front of it. I if want put, branch. I want if, branch. If you put celery in there. It's like, yeah. yeah. You dip in your ranch. Right. Put it in your branch and eat it. So. <laughs> We had oatmeal, and I like oh, cried a little tear when that oh, oatmeal went, oh, went away. Yeah, So hold on to that branch, girl. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Uh, I actually said it in the hospital when I would offer oh, people. Oh, do you want oatmeal? And I'm like, oh, I mean. Okay, and then dairy. So dairy again. We have our lactose-free kids. We have kids who don't want the dairy. Whatever. It's important to acknowledge this category. So you could do um, lactose-free. You could do almond milk. You could do depending on if it was a nut-free facility. You could do. They have a million types of milk. We do the ripple milk, um, which is pea protein, which is cool. Right. Um, but these are great alternatives too. Just okay. remember, I think that with all the various types of milks. I mean, obviously they're not all truly milk. You yes. know, milk and almonds, right? So the different calcium levels. So yep. you don't, they're not all created equally. All certainly definitely have their own health benefits, but it's not a one-to-one, -one, oh, my child had one cup of soy milk that's equivalent to a cup right. of okay. dairy. It's definitely. a little bit different. There's right. charts. You can Google it. It's great. It's easy to find. Great point. Is, are these okay, though, these, um, like, I, I noticed you've got two different kinds that are vastly different, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got the Danimals. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, your, um, there's like a smoothie consistency yep. and then you've got the yogurt here and the, is it Siggy's? Is yep. that what they call it? Like a um, Greekish. Yeah. Okay. Like a Greek yogurt. Um, I mean, they're, they're still good. Like even 
You get, I mean, my daughter, instantly her eye is drawn to this, sure. right? Because of the character. So we use an app, actually, that I use with like all my patients, pretty mm -hmm. much, that's free, that I don't work for them, but it's actually a great tool that you could decide if this was okay for your family. It's called right. Fujicate. Oh, okay. So like, instead of cool. Educate, it's Fujicate, and it's a scanner, so you can scan this, and oh. it's run by your dietitians. That's awesome. So you know the, yeah. the stuff is valid, mm -hmm. and it gives you a scale, A through F. And so in our house, B plus and above is okay. Okay. So it takes into account saturated fat, added sugars, calories, nutritional value, yeah. fiber. Mm, so know. these, for example, um, are a B plus. Really? Oh, so wow. that, that is why are they I are. I guess that. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. so and look, they like fit like in this little. Yeah. Right and I think kids actually as they get older are going to love the concept of that app and being able to make some choices and say, yeah. all right, let me That's look a it good up. Idea. You know, Common Sense Media, we do the same thing for yeah. video games and TV shows with that app. And so, oh, I love that app. So that's been really empowering. I was like, oh, well, let me look it up. Let me make a decision. Okay. Let me talk to yeah, my parents about it. And or when you go through the kindergarten adjustment yeah. when everybody's having different yeah. things and uh, Johnny has this and I want to try it. Yeah, I try I'm not to be the that. Right? Yeah. And I try not to be the bad guy. So this kind of empowers the child yeah. where it's like, okay, these are set parameters. Mm -hmm. And that I've set because mm -hmm. I know what healthy is. Mm -hmm. This is your autonomy back. Let's see go. what it is. And so sometimes we'll scan it at the store. He'll be with me. He'll see that it's like a C. And I'll be like, oh, but the best part about that app is that it has a tab for alternatives. Oh, so nice. if, oh, if it's not cool, yeah. you yeah. hit one that is. Yeah. yeah. So that you have, so you have a That's way really to, great. yeah, way to, to get out of the no. Yeah. You yeah. can say no, but, and, and right. you know, or no, right. and yeah. you can try this one. Yeah, yeah. So you're not left hanging. Okay. So I love that. That's, yeah. great. That's a great idea. And I think it's important to remember, too, that, you know, kids want to fit in. Yeah. And it's okay to give them the crazy stuff sometimes yeah. because, you know, you just, you have to worry about yep. as you entering school and especially as you're getting a little bit older in school and. This doesn't need to be a battle. Food should never be a battle. We give them the options, and then they choose to what they actually put right. in their body. Right? Kids who have access to food are not going to starve to death. Absolutely. I like the idea of choice because I noticed that if I can give my child a choice, mm -hmm. again, you know, strong-willed yeah. three-year-old yeah. and three and a half year old, yeah. four, she, you know, will will choose right. from among uh, a selection. Versus her saying, no, I want, and that's all, you know, if I say, well, wait a minute, what if, you know, would you like this or this? And then once yeah. I give her a choice, she feels the empowerment. Yes. Yeah. You know, she yeah. thinks she's putting one over on me. But she's not. <laughs> You're not, kid. I'm the boss. Anyway, I'll get off my power. <laughs> But that's what, that speaks, we do um, Ellen Sat work with Ellen Satter um, with the Division of Responsibilities, and that's, that speaks to that, which is that the parent is responsible for what the child eats, the setting of where it happens, the timing, and the routine of it. But the child gets to decide, am I going to eat and how much? And that right. really fosters, like, yeah. uh, it seems innate and silly. But yeah. No, know. it's not silly at all. I just know it's, it's completely different than what I grew up with. My yeah. mother was, you know, it was dictator. Lucy the Clean dictator. Clean plate? In a way. Clean plate right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. you will eat that rice and beans. I'm like, but I don't want it. You know, we yes. try to hide it in a napkin. Beans are so good. I know now I'm like I can't get enough. Yeah, I was okay. a fool. You know? <laughs> <I> was <laughs> food is wasted on the youth. <laughs> it's not wasted. Okay. But important re reminder too: family dinners are so important. Yes. You know, we always eat together. Eat, eat together as a family as much as you possibly can. It's just so critical. Yep. Agreed. Okay. Do you guys want to make one lunch yeah, and then sure, call it? Cool. Sure. Okay. So who wants to pick the green? Well, okay. we only have a what? bun. Oh. We only have a bun. <laughs> we only have a bun. So. Daddy. Wait. So we can do some crackers. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about dipping. So we can do some yeah. crackers okay. and some hummus. Okay, I like perfect. That idea. All right, okay. great. Okay. We're gonna do crackers. Yep. Yeah. And the other thing that I put out here, just in case, you know, when we have this token bun. But if you do make sandwiches, I find that they go over a whole lot better when they're like oh, that with the cookie cutter. So right? That is make sure you get big enough bread. I did I not get big enough bread and and strong we enough failed. cookie cutter. We so failed. choose whichever vessel you would like. You can swing around the front. Okay. okay. And then okay. So that counts as a grain. Yeah. Okay. So now if I pour this. Into here, I just need a spoon. Oh, no, I'll just I'll pour the hummus in here. Okay. Okay, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Spoon. Okay. I noticed um, my daughter's daycare, they, um, they give the kids hummus. And mm -hmm. she came home one day and told me she eaten hummus. And I was like, wow. Right. Yeah, right there. Great. Right. You know, yeah. good to see that they try the different food. Yeah. She said, I tried it. I said, oh, okay. Yeah. And the neutral response is actually like a really great point that you bring up is that I find with kids who are trying new foods or like um, families who are afraid of picky eating mm -hmm. that positive risk overly positive response or overly negative response can actually have a negative impact on your child's ability to try stuff because then it's about the judgment or the feeling that they feel about your response rather than actually yeah. the thing so yeah. having a neutral response is actually perfect so really? good job yes oh. because then it doesn't become about you yeah. or the emotion right. it's just they it's tried just the food good. and that's 
Because you should. Right. That's what you should do. Stay in control. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. The other thing before we move on from, so grains, mm -hmm. we did the protein with the hummus. We've kind of already got the dairy in there, but I wanted to mention these because I, I saw these. Right? Well, there's a, I don't know if it's a different company, but there's sriracha yes. and barbecue. Really? And they come in little packs, and those are in my pocket at work. All these the are time. in my yeah. snack drawer at work. Yeah. Really? Let's see. Yeah. Um, so the there's seven grams of protein, but they're like, um, so there, it's all like plant-based protein. It's got high fiber. And the kids love them because it kind of tastes like chips. Yeah. And some of the ones I have almost have a peanutty flavor mm -hmm. to them, even though mm -hmm. they're fava beans, but they have a... Wow. And, and they, again, they if get, you're like dipping and picking, it's like great. So you could add this to the all different bread. kinds of flavors here. Barbecue, yeah. Thai, and coconut. And the salt value is shockingly low. Chili well. lime? You, know, you got to watch for salt and these kind of things. Yeah. And all right. Really I'm all about trying... Okay, good. Okay. Okay. So we need to do the fruit. Okay. And the veggie. Okay, and then so we're done. Strawberries. Okay, great. Strawberries are a hit at my house. Okay, sweet. Right? Kids love strawberries. Yeah, and you can choose to cut them or not cut them. It's kind of like to each individual. Yeah, like, whole is good. And then where would you put that? Just um, just in here? Yep, okay. I would mix them all together. Yep, throw them in there, okay. however many. Touch. What's the, ah! <laughs> what's the um, like, you know, is it a half a cup? Is that what you're kind of aiming for? Half a cup of fruit? Honestly, or I as many as that. I ask my child how many they want. Yep. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't think you can go wrong if it's like a plant-based food. I can, right. uh, you know, you don't want to overwhelm. I find that kids who are overwhelmed with the amount of food, yeah. that's more of a concern. Can you put too much food on a plate? I've read that if you yes. put everything on sure. your plate, it can kind of be like, Ugh. but if you separate Try them. Try eating off your salad plates for a week and see what happens. Yeah. Really? Because the smaller, some of our dish plates now, you notice, don't barely even fit into the dishwasher. Dinner plates are being made much larger, yeah. and so if you use a smaller plate, sure it is, yeah. appears full. Yeah. Visually and psychologically, you feel like you're eating more versus smaller amount of food on a bigger plate. It looks like your serving is skimpy. Okay. okay. So even, if you put even same, with the same serving amount on a salad plate. Or, 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 or find like your grandmother's dishes. You'll see the dinner plates are actually a lot smaller. Okay. And that. It's much more satiating. It's one of those kind of. It's it's. Crazy I've things. heard yeah. that before, but it it's definitely to try works. with kids though. You know? Okay, we're not doing celery because I can't okay. get open. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's try <laughs> Kalamata olives. Okay, let's do it. Celery just I'm gonna say should be for the older kids. You don't. Point. It's it's a chewy, choking kind of tricky thing. Oh. So celery for really the school age kids. Yeah. Unless, and, and, if you're and, watching them at home, it's fine. But yeah, school. And okay. for school, cut them up right. Like if they like for a three year old. I mean, my daughter's. Yeah, I think celery is just hard for three year olds. My three year old loves it, but it takes her about an hour. Hour and a half. Sorry. Eat a piece. Oh my gosh. Okay, here I go. Wait. There got you go. it. I got okay. it. I got it. So you could have options with this. So you could put it in here. If these are gonna get leaky, you could mm -hmm. either put it in another vessel or put them in here. Cause you know, I, I've seen these things that they sell. They're uh, made of silicone, yes. and they're like silicone. Um, like the baggies. Uh, you know, you know. Do you remember when you baked um, cupcakes as a kid and you mm -hmm. had those little uh, tin uh, foil? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They look like that, only they're made of silicone. Yes. And so you put them in these things to prevent food from touching. Yes. Oh. So you can still put the olives in, and the, the they won't get everything else wet. Wow. Yeah. I've seen that on, on Instagram. Yeah. A friend of mine yeah, who, who does that. Yeah. And you can buy. I think you can get them on Amazon. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, and so here, so that's our lunch that we made. Okay. And so if you're looking at it, you're going, "Well, my kid would be starving," <laughs> right? Then you can add to it though. So like it's it's to each. Pro Do you hear chicken? I was gonna say I'm like, is that a human being acting <laughs> like? Oh, that's not enough for me. Yeah. I'm like, are you being judgmental? Okay, chicken. So <laughs> You got, you got judgmental chickens. We do, we do. They have a whole Twitter account. Okay. I uh, saw. <laughs> so it. The point being is that this is kind of a base. Mm -hmm. Tailor it to your kid. Mm -hmm. Like my kid would probably want a jerky stick in there too. Okay. Okay. Or That's more fair. or more hummus. So just tailor mm -hmm. it to your kid. But this is the basis. So we've got all five food groups covered, and then you can adjust it okay. accordingly. And then you know just stack. Stack kind of your pantry, your fridge, mm -hmm. however so you, you might mean, be able to hit those five food groups. What, and about, vessel. what about sweets? Like, okay, I honestly went to yeah. school with a woman who used to get a, uh, she's a woman now, when we were kids, she was a child, uh, you know how that goes. And so she, yeah. um, she'd get a full candy bar. <gasps> In no. her, and I mean, she was the envy of every child. That's like the good house in Halloween. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, a full size wow. candy bar. I remember, I was stunned. Yeah. I was like, oh, you know, I'm over here looking at my my mom's response would be, you know, something. Something bad is happening in her family, so oh. that's what. So they're just making up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how I would have been comforted. Do you suggest like <laughs> snack size candy? I don't know. I'm not a candy person. I think dinner, whatever but is seems that okay? right. Yeah, do whatever. Sure. And I think it's important to mention like 
and and then we gotta wrap up girls because we could go on all day yeah um but i think it's important to mention not to like there this is a judgment free kind of area and so i've been hearing actually a lot from parents and kids about how they judge each other's lunches mm. and i think that's important to mention because judgment doesn't need to be anywhere in the lunch box mm -hmm. and so i would say if you're gonna pack a, a you know a candy bar or whatever that's that's your jam go for it just know that like um, kids need fiber and they need all these other mm -hmm. things too so maybe make make it a part of their, their yeah. other eating during the day. Have it part of not the yeah. centerpiece. Yeah. And just personally as a mom I would probably do if I'm going to do like I would might do yeah. like a couple squares of Hershey, Hershey's right. chocolate or yeah. something mm -hmm. as like a treat and whether the child eats it at the beginning of lunch or right. yet who cares? Who okay. cares? Right. You know? I like that. A judgment-free zone. It takes it's the pressure. It has to be. It yeah. has to be. I love that. Yeah. What a wonderful experience. I'm totally going to go to dinner, to our dinner table tonight with a different mind frame. Uh, instead of, you know, eat your vegetables, you know, it's going to be like, so, did you like that? <laughs> how was your day? Mm -hmm. How was your day? Right? You know, but it makes, it makes space for the how was your day part, yes. right? Yeah. No, our three-year-olds, when we sit down into dinner, that's what she starts with. So, how was your day? Yeah. <laughs> and I love it feels that. so much better than, yeah. like, mom, yeah. I don't want that right. or whatever. So, we're creating right. a family culture of, like, enjoyment and food versus... Right. Kind of like this other mentality. You've brought be. peace to my family yeah. dinner table. I'm serious. I feel so empowered now. I'm gonna Aww. go home and be like, you know, it's okay. It's a judgment free hey. zone. Eat yeah. the vegetables. Yeah. Well, thank and you then guys. the 12 chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> That's for mommy later. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> thank you. Well, Jill. thank you for coming, ladies. Thanks for watching. All right.